everyone, and welcome to the Narcosis channel, and let's continue our second ECG subject, electrocardiographic leads. And as Stephen Hawking said, however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. In the last video, we have talked about the three standard limb leads. Today we will talk about the three augmented limb leads. The augmented limb leads obtain a graph of the electrical forces as recorded from one limb at a time. Therefore, the augmented limb leads are also called unipolar leads. In these leads, one limb carries a positive electrode, while a central terminal represents the negative pole, which is actually at zero potential. And as we have three electrodes placed in the three limbs, there are three augmented limb leads. First one start with negative pole in the central terminal point and the positive pole in the left arm, and this lead is called the AVL, or the augmented vector left. Second one start with negative pole in the central terminal point and the positive pole in the right arm, and this lead is called the AVR, or the augmented vector right. Third one start with negative pole in the central terminal point and the positive pole in the left leg, and this lead is called the AVF, or the augmented vector for. Let's start with the first lead which is the AVL lead. This lead looks to the heart from the left arm compared to the central terminal point, and indifferent to the lead, one which looks to the heart from the left arm compared to the right arm and not to the central terminal point. So this lead vector can be drawn perpendicular to the heart and will capture the electric events of the heart in small positive waves or biphasic waves as seen in the QRS. Then we have the second lead, which is the AVR lead. This lead looks to the heart from the right arm compared to the central terminal point. So, this lead vector can be drawn opposite to the heart and will capture the electric events of the heart in negative waves. Lastly, we have the third lead, which is the AVF. This lead looks to the heart from the left foot compared to the central terminal point and indifferent to the lead three, which looks to the heart from the left foot compared to the right arm and not to the central terminal point. So this lead vector can be drawn parallel to the heart and will capture the electric events of the heart in large positive waves like lead two. So to sum up, we have three augmented limb leads, AVF lead, which lays parallel to the heart and will capture the electric events of the heart in large positive waves. AVL lead, which lays perpendicular to the heart and will capture the electric events of the heart in small positive waves or biphasic waves as seen in the QRS. AVR lead, which lays opposite to the heart and will capture the electric events of the heart in negative waves, mostly So what will happen if we inadvertent swipe the leads for left and right arms, meaning that we reversed arm electrodes? This produces what is known as technical dextrocardia. The effects of arm electrode reversal on the limb leads are mirror image inversion of lead 1 AVR exchanged with AVL, lead 2 exchanged with lead 3. No change in lead AVF. The reason why that the mirror image inversion of lead 1 occur is due to that the positive and negative electrodes are exchanged in lead 1. And the reason why that the lead 2 exchanged with lead 3 is that the negative electrodes of both leads are exchanged in both arms.
Then we have the AVR exchanged with AVL due to the reverse of arm leads, but the AVF lead doesn't change. Let's see this on ECG paper. Here we have the usual lead one. But when we reversed arm electrodes, there will be mirror image inversion. The AVL will become the AVR and become having negative waves and the AVR become the AVL. And the lead two, well, seems like lead three. And lead three, well, seems like lead two. And the AVF will not change. So, we have this normal leads orientation. But in the reverse leads, the orientation will has mirror image inversion of lead one. Lead two exchanged with lead three. AVR exchanged with AVL. No change in lead AVF. So, you have to ask yourself from the first look to the EKG, is this EKG normal or reversed? So, we have finished our lecture today, and also we have finished the limb leads, and let's jump to the question of this lecture. What is the difference between technical dextrocardia and true dextrocardia? In technical dextrocardia, the heart looks downward and to the left, but the leads are reversed. In true dextrocardia, the heart looks downward and to the right, but the lead are normally placed. But how to differentiate that on EKG paper? So. To distinguish technical dextrocardia from true mirror image dextrocardia on EKG paper is by the fact that chest leads are normally represented in technical dextrocardia, as we will discuss in the next videos, which is seen here in the EKG paper. But the chest leads become abnormally represented in true dextrocardia, mainly the R wave progression, as seen here in the EKG paper. Thanks for watching. I will be more than grateful if you press the like, subscribe button and share this video with your colleagues. If you have any suggestions to improve my channel, leave a comment and let me know please. See the description below for the newest updates and for more infos. Also don't forget to follow us on other social media sites. Keep your narcotic dose and good luck.